girls, welcome to my channel and welcome to the month of March. We barely started and we are in the third month already. Also Libra, from whichever part of the world you are, hope you're doing good and you're safe because of this virus outbreak. It's not about tarot, but it's just about general, you know, well-being of my tribe. I hope you guys are safe in your countries. Try avoiding international travel as much as possible. And Libra, woman. A very happy Women's Day to all of you. Celebrate womanhood. Celebrate being you. Being independent. Feel good about yourself. Okay? You rock. Women have been achieving a lot of things. You're not a weak person. You don't have to be subdued. So enjoy your independence. All right. So let's see, Libra. These are general readings. So it's not regarding money, career, finances, love and relationship. We'll see as it comes. And also, is are for the star sign of Libra. So you could be a Libra sun, moon, rising, Jupiter or Venus. Take it as it resonates with you. All right. So let's see. Here you are. Your underlying energy is of the Page of Swords. Gemini also have this energy. So you're the second air sign. And the Six of Cups. Okay, something from the past, somebody from the past is connecting with you or has connected with you or this could also mean you're missing your, you know, things from which have been your long, long, long time wish from the past, okay? Something that made you happy, your childhood memories, your childhood friends, situations that have happened in the past which made you happy. But I see you kind of silent, silently watching, silently finding out the truth, silently doing your stuff. And also for some of you, this could also mean you're planning to move out from your country or your place where you stay. So maybe you are processing your visas, you're sending out applications. You, if you're looking for, you know, for some of you, it could be doing your research. So you are, uh, you know, sending out applications, sending out uh, proposals and uh, not sharing it with anybody, keeping it to yourself. But a lot of online research is what I see. So this research could be regarding a job. This research could be regarding a person. This research could be anything to do with rules and regulations also, but definitely and a theme of research, you're, you're finding out something, okay? But you're keeping very secretive about it. You're not bringing out your plan to the world. What is happening with you as you begin March, Libra? I see the Eight of Pentacles with the King of Swords. King of Swords means a person who makes wise decisions or judging the situation using your brain, not your heart, and seeing the, you know, the past data, and making logical decisions regarding certain things. So this is like a decision-making time. You're weighing the pros and cons. And you're very dedicated towards whatever you're doing. So whatever decisions you're going to make, you are taking some decisions this month. You're making some decisions, but that those decisions are based on this research. Whatever this research shows you, you're going to make your decision based on that and you're going to stick to it. You're very dedicated towards it. You have no doubts about it. You're sincerely trying to make decisions, good or bad. You're going to dedicate yourself to it. Okay? So <clears throat> this could be regarding money. This could be regarding career. This could be even regarding a person. But you are definitely cutting out or in the mood to cut out people or habits that don't serve your uh, you know, that don't serve you anymore. Reason is you want to dedicate yourself to the things that you decide that, okay, I'm going to take these for with me for 2020. So only these stay, rest go. That's a kind of energy. What is blocking your way is the sun energy in this month, month of March. Month of March might not feel very happy for you, very positive for you. Which is normal because you are you're making the decision, you are putting in hard work, you are cutting things out. So definitely this is not the time when 
Things will just fall in the plate for you. Things will, you might find it difficult to stay optimistic. You might have to handle a lot of people and you know, that could be a stressful situation. You might have problems with your children. There could be children involved. You might have problems with children. There could be problems regarding your wishes. Maybe you have to logically cut down a few wishes. Maybe you have to logically make yourself understand that that could be the best thing that you were holding on to, but that's not meant for you. So you have to accept it and let it go. So some kind of happiness is going to be a challenge this month. You, you know it's needed. You know you're going to do it. But yet you will feel you're compromising on your happiness factor. You, you're not being very optimistic about it. Instead, Libra, what you should focus on is your destiny. Accept your destiny. The Wheel of Fortune is here, another very positive card. Don't think of immediate gratification. Don't think of immediate benefit. Don't think of immediate happiness. Think, take it as your destiny. Focus on your destiny. Maybe the universe has a bigger plan for you. Maybe something better is coming towards you. Things are moving for the better. You might find that person whom you're cutting out of your life or that work that you're you know, no longer focusing on. You might find it difficult to let go of that because you have given in a lot of time and effort to it. But you never know what is coming towards you because definitely something good is coming towards you. And you need to focus and wait for that good thing instead of focusing on instant gratification or instant happiness. Things are not clear. Things might feel very confusing. But things are turning for the good. The wheel of fortune means times are turning for the good. Whatever is the outcome, you will see as you approach April, you will see things are in your favor. Things are for the greater good. Also, what you need to avoid this month is showdown, drama, night of swords. Don't be, don't have a showdown. Don't, don't burn bridges. If you have to cut certain people out, you know you are making a logical decision because you have found out whatever you have found out. You have made the decisions, but don't over-dramatize that. Let them go. Instead, don't let people go. You move. Don't have to rush towards people and say, Amy, you know what? You're full of BS and I'm not going to talk to you from tomorrow. Instead, just stop talking and move out. Just be not reachable to them. So don't take any rash decision don't rush into things. Don't get overexcited and rush into things. No dramas. No showdown with people. Don't fight. Don't lose your temper. Watch your temper. Watch your tongue. Don't make decisions in a hurry. Just because you want to be happy, don't make decisions in a hurry. Be patient. Wait. Wait and accept your destiny. Okay? Instead, focus on your sleep, there are a lot of stress inside you. You're stressed out. Maybe money worries. Maybe relationship worries. Focus on them. Try to solve them. Instead of going and fighting with new people or going and literally, uh, you know, cutting people out or taking, making rash decisions, meditate, go slow, and instead get yourself, work on your stress. There's a lot of buildup of stress inside you. So focus on the stress and try to build that, try to pull that down, try to bring that down. If you're thinking of happiness, if you're thinking of a showdown with somebody, thinking of these is leading to your stress. Instead, learn to accept it as your destiny. Then the stress level will go slow. What is coming towards you is the Four of Pentacles with the Three of Cups. Definitely a happy time with friends. Definitely a good social time. Good happy times coming towards you as you approach April. And also the Four of Pentacles, you are going to be wiser. You are going to, you are not going to waste your emotion uh, on people just like that. You are going to be wiser. You are going to be controlled. You're going to control your money, your expenses. You're going to control your uh, emotions. You're going to control your, uh, you know, you, you're going to be a bit closed off. You're not going to over get overexcited about things. You're going to be you you're gonna spend, you're gonna spend your energy, you're gonna spend your emotion, you're gonna spend your money, but you're gonna do that very wisely, as much as needed. You're not gonna overdo it. That is what is coming towards you because that is what life has taught you. 
If you have been doing things for people, you'll stop overdoing things for people. You'll just do when asked. If you have been spending money, you will spend money wisely. You will only spend when needed. But you will try to make as much as wise decisions as possible, which is very good. And also, I see celebrations. I see good get-togethers. So, you will have fun. Whichever way, it could be with this new person. It could be with somebody new. It could be somebody from your past. But definitely, this is the time as you come to the end of March, you will spend more time celebrating with others, celebrating with friends and family, getting together, having an active social life. But at the same time, you have to be and you will be wise towards spending. It won't be like, okay, let's go have a party and you end up paying the entire money. You're going to be very wise, but yet enjoy. So Libra, this month looks good because a lot of change is happening. Just that don't over-respect and don't overreact. Just be balanced like you are. Don't expect too much of happiness and also control your stress. Don't overreact because overreacting will lead to your stress level being high. Take things as they are happening as your destiny because things are changing for your own good. Be wise. Enjoy your time with friends, family and with your loved ones, but don't overdo it. Okay? All right, so Libra, this was your general reading for the month of March. And I'll see you later with your love and finance and prayer readings. Till then, stay safe, stay happy, and I'll see you later. Bye.